Maybe you haven't made the upgrade to 4K yet. Maybe you're looking for a second TV for the bedroom. Maybe you're just exploring your options. Whatever your reasons, you might be searching for a good deal on a new TV. Something big, sharp, bright, colorful, and most importantly, something that won't break the bank. We've got you covered with a selection of affordable TVs that suit nearly any budget. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. Also, the products in this video are not arranged in any particular order, so be sure to watch till the end. Now, let's get started. First up, we present to you the Vizio 50-inch M-Series Quantum X TV. This set is one of the best inexpensive gaming TVs available, offering features that other cheap TVs like the Hisense U6H lack. Specifically, it has 120Hz panel with both standard variable refresh rate VRR, and AMD FreeSync Premium, and its input lag is quite low. The TV's colors are incredibly wide. It uses Vizio SmartCast platform, too, so it has both Apple AirPlay and Google Cast. Its only major weakness is contrast. This is relatively dim panel with only modest black levels. All in all, this set is for budget-minded gamers looking for a very big monitor or a medium-sized TV. 50 inches isn't exactly small, but it's still less screen than the more common 55 and 65 inch TV sizes. The big draw for the Vizio set is gaming. 120 hertz panels are rare on budget TVs, and both VRR and FreeSync Premium are nice bonuses. Wide colors and occasionally washed out black levels can also provide a bit of an advantage in gaming. As for its design, it's easy to love the incredibly thin bezel on the front of the TV and the solid metal strip along the bottom but it's a bit chunky compared to a similar size TVs. At 26 pounds, it's relatively light, but wall mounting it higher than your shoulders is gonna take a bit of effort given the bulkness of the screen. Even then, the TV will jut out over three inches from the wall, which is more than other QLED TVs. Its full measurements without a stand are 43.81 by 25.48 by 3.41 inches. Thankfully, the TV uses a standard 200mm by 200mm VESA mount, so it should be compatible with most cheap mounts out there. Next up is the Amazon Fire TV Omni. Amazon's Fire TV platform drives some of our favorite media streamers. From an aesthetic standpoint, Amazon doesn't try to do much out of the ordinary with the Omni TV. The 43, 50, and 55-inch models have a black bezel around all sides and a black U-shaped feet supporting the TV near the outer edges, while the 65 and 75-inch variants have a silver bezel along the bottom and silver feet. All models have a built-in microphone for Alexa located at the bottom of the screen. It'll light up when it hears the wake word. For most folks, that's Alexa. And you can talk to it just like any other Echo devices. Spin the TV around to the back and you're going to find a decent amount of ports to pick from. There are three regular HDMI 2.0 A ports and one HDMI 2.1 E ARC port that you can use to connect the soundbar. Obviously, having more HDMI 2.1 ports would be better, but it doesn't matter much considering this is only a 60 Hz television. Features are a bit of a mixed bag for the Amazon Omni TV. On one hand, it's of tremendous value getting a smart TV with Alexa voice recognition for its pittance. But on the other, you do miss out on a number of niceties like Dolby Vision. That said, while colors and peak luminance push well above their weight here, contrast isn't the TV's best strength. On gray screens, it's easy to see where there are uniformity issues with the Omni TV's direct backlight with some patches of LEDs shining brighter than others. This can make poor black levels when you're watching a night or space scene. You could, of course, fix this by adding on a soundbar that's capable of accepting Dolby Atmos signal and an external device like Apple TV 4K or Xbox Series X. Otherwise, however, you'll have to stick with Dolby Digital Plus 7.1 sound instead of a 7.1.2 soundbar. That said, Amazon does have one trick up its sleeve to help make the situation a little better for fledging home audio enthusiasts. It allows you to use Amazon Echo device as a surround sound speaker. Next is TCL's latest 6 Series Roku TV. This set remains one of our favorite values, along with the 6 Series Google TV higher up on the list. It's not quite as color accurate or feature rich as the Google TV version, but it still offers excellent contrast, wide color, and Apple AirPlay for a very reasonable price. It's the best Roku TV available, even if we can name a few Google TV models we prefer overall like previous 6-series TVs. 
The latest one features mini LED backlighting, which utilizes thousands of tiny LEDs spread across hundreds of local dimming zones to create top-notch brightness, impressive contrast, and deep black levels. This panel has up to 360 dimming zones, and it uses quantum dot color with a measured 100% color volume in the DCI-P3 Hollywood reference color space. TCL is putting a big emphasis on gaming capabilities. The prior Roku model topped out at 1440p at 120 hertz, but now, as you'd hope so far into the PS5 and Xbox Series X life cycle, the 6 Series can do full 4K resolution gaming at 120 hertz. PC gamers can achieve an even higher peak variable refresh rate of 144 hertz. Other TV makers like Samsung has also adopted 144 hertz. Vizio has even hit the 240 hertz and 1080p resolution. These companies are doing their best to appeal to console and PC gamers alike. But I'm just glad TCL is offering true 4K resolution at those higher refresh rates this time around. It sports four total HDMI ports, and two of them support 4K 120Hz. TCL uses a different port than those two for eARC purposes, so you won't have to waste a high-performance HDMI port on your soundbar. Every port having full HDMI 2.1 capabilities is ideal, but where that's not possible, this is about the best layout you could ask for. The 6 Series Roku TV also supports AMD FreeSync in addition to the baseline, industry standard VRR spec. As for design, TCL has switched to a center position stand instead of putting legs at each side of the TV. There are two height levels in case you'll have a soundbar sitting in front of your screen. We also gain some integrated cable management that runs through the stand. Supported HDR formats include Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG. Stand aside, the 6 Series Roku TV shares the usual brushed metal aesthetics and slim bezels. At the bottom of the screen, there's now an ambient light sensor, and this addition allowed TCL to include Dolby Vision IQ on the 6 Series. When activated, HDR brightness should be optimized for your specific viewing conditions. The built-in voice microphones from the Google TV 6 Series aren't present on the new Roku model, but you can still use the included remote for voice commands. All in all, the Roku TV platform is appealing for its simplicity. It doesn't try to do a lot outside of just loading and playing content. It doesn't include a voice assistant or a comprehensive home screen that controls smart devices either. Just apps and basic voice search capabilities, and Apple AirPlay, strong contrast, and a lower price than the equivalent TCL and Hisense Google TVs, and you have a worthy contender. If you want lots of features and fairly strong picture quality, we say check out the Hisense U6H. The sweet spot for excellent picture quality at an affordable price has hovered around $1,000 for 65-inch models for a few years. TVs below that price often force you to deal with significant compromises. The Hisense U6H certainly doesn't offer top-of-the-line picture quality, but the compromise it makes are the most reasonable I've seen yet. This TV has fantastic color, covering almost all of the DCI-P3 digital cinema color space with solid accuracy out of the box. It also offers tons of features because of its Google TV interface. You get far-field microphones for hands-free Google assistance as well as support for Apple AirPlay and Google Cast. Its biggest drawback is the mediocre contrast, but it still performs better here than other TVs in its price range. Its Quantum Dot Full Array display delivers terrific contrast and rich, accurate color production, among the best in the price range. Its built-in Google TV software is a great pick for everyday streaming, and there's also a surprising amount of gaming-friendly features here for the money. The U6H is not without some blemishes. Fast-paced content is marred by poor motion handling, and there's significant light bloom whenever bright and dark picture elements meet. And while the U6H is bright enough for well-lit rooms, it's unable to produce the sort of brightness needed for impactful HDR. That said, compared to some of its competitors this year, the U6H offers a bit more bang for your buck. Serious gamers and picture purists might be better off spending more money on a higher-end TV that better suits their needs. But anyone committed to shopping in this price range ought to take a long look at the Hisense U6H. Finally, we present to you the TCL's 4K 6 Series Google TV. This set is simply one of the best overall values. It has excellent contrast and color, along with plenty of features because of its Google TV interface. 
Its far-field microphone supports hands-free Google Assistant, and you can even mirror your Android phone or Chrome tab through Google Cast. Most importantly, it comes in below the $1,000 for 65 inches line. The TCL 6 Series is designed pretty differently than most other TVs in this price range. It's a fair bit more premium. It has a nice brushed metal edge around it with a completely bezel-less display, save for the bezel at the bottom, which is built with the same material. The back of the TV is made from plastic, but it's not a huge issue given the fact that you won't look at the back all that much. On the back is where you'll find all the TV's ports, and there's a solid selection there. You'll get four-sided facing HDMI ports, one of which supports ER. Two of the ports support HDMI 2.1 too, so you'll be able to take advantage of the high refresh rate on offer by new gaming consoles. Setting the TV up is pretty easy, though you'll need two people to do it, especially if you have the 65-inch model. You'll simply screw in the legs, plug the TV in, and you should be good to go. There are two leg positions here, which is nice. All in all, this is a fantastic TV if you want a great picture quality and a good set of features for a reasonable price. It doesn't do anything fancy outside of Google's TV scope and doesn't have any particularly stylish flourishes, but it's still an excellent value. For more information and most updated prices, check the links in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out our previous video about the top 5 best 4K TVs or our previous comparison between the LG G2 and Sony A95K. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so as never to miss any of our upcoming videos.